Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Dirsata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a beautiful zucchini galette with puff pastry, slices of fresh zucchini, and a layer of cheese made with feta, parmesan, and uh, cream cheese. The whole thing is so easy to put together. Let's get started. So I like to buy my puff pastry at the restaurant supply stores because you get these beautiful large pastry sheets. If you can't find it or if you already have the puff pastry that comes with two sheets per box, you could just put it together and roll it out to about 16 inches in diameter. I don't even cut it because later on we're going to fold the edges over to create, it's going to be a circle anyway, so you don't have to waste anything. As long as it's about 16 inches round, you're going to be good to go. And I have my pan over here that's 16 inches in diameter so I'm just going to use that just to make sure that I have rolled it out enough all I did was I just dusted a little bit of uh, flour onto my work surface and I just rolled it out a little bit on each side so that way it can fit my pan next I have eight ounces of cream cheese that's about 230 grams. You wanna make sure that it's nice and soft. If you didn't take it out of the refrigerator in time, you should take it out an hour or two before you're ready to use it so it can get nice and soft. You could either put it in some warm water because it should be wrapped in foil or you could pop it in the microwave for a few seconds. Just make sure that it's nice and soft so that way it's easy to spread. And then go ahead and spread the cream cheese in the center of your prepared puff pastry. Leave about two to three inches where it's not spread because that's gonna be the crust. Then I have two ounces of shredded Parmesan cheese that I'm just going to sprinkle over the cream cheese and about four ounces of feta cheese. I like to buy my feta in block form just because it's so much better quality and if you could get sheep's milk feta it's going to be nice and creamy. If all you have is cow's milk feta go ahead and use that. Just crumble it all over the top of the cream cheese and the Parmesan layer. Then I have two zucchinis over here. Just slice the zucchini into thin rounds. About a quarter of an inch thickness is what you're looking for and put them all in a bowl. Drizzle some olive oil on top, season with salt and freshly cracked black pepper. About a teaspoon of dried oregano is what I like to use, but you can use some mint in here, some thyme, whatever your favorite herbs are, go ahead and put them in here. Dill is really nice with zucchini as well. Use whatever you love. And then I grated a garlic clove. I'm just gonna put that in here as well. I'm just gonna toss everything together using my hands just so that way everything is incorporated and the zucchini is coated in those delicious flavors. Then I'm just gonna layer the zucchini in circles around all of that delicious cheese, squeeze whatever's left in here and there so that way we don't waste anything. And then you're gonna have a little bit of that olive oil and herb dressing left over on the bottom. It's probably gonna be about a half teaspoon or so, but you don't wanna waste it. Go ahead and drizzle that over the top. Then in that same bowl, I like to make a little egg wash. So I just have an egg yolk here. I'm gonna add a tablespoon or two of milk, whisk that all up. And before I brush it all over my pastry, I'm just gonna fold the pastry that is hanging over the edges, over the edges of the zucchini and the cheese just to create a beautiful rustic border. Brush the border with the egg wash and then you wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna bake on the center rack until it's perfectly cooked. It's gonna take between 45 to 50 minutes. Keep an eye on it because oven temperatures do vary once the puff pastry is golden. You wanna also make sure that your zucchini is nice and golden on top. Once it comes out of the oven, let it sit at room temperature for about 10, 15 minutes, and then it's ready to serve. So the galette took 45 minutes in my oven to bake. For the last 10 minutes, I did raise it to the top rack just so it can get more color on it, and it was a really good idea to do that. Keep an eye on it. Like I said, oven temperatures vary. They cook differently. Sometimes they're not calibrated right, and you think you're cooking out, baking at one temperature, but it's really baking at a different one. So keep an eye on it. If it, if it needs more color, keep it in there longer. If it's browning a little too fast, don't put it on the top rack. <laughs> so anyway, once it comes out of the oven, let it sit for about 10 minutes and then it's ready to serve. I would serve this with a nice salad. It goes really great with anything. I would definitely serve this as an appetizer for a party if I was having one just because it's so beautiful to look at and simple to put together. This would be a great brunch item to serve too, by the way. Time for the taste test. And before I bite into it, you take a look and see that the bottom crust is perfectly cooked the puff pastry cooked perfectly. I think I forgot to say that once I rolled it out and put it on the tray, I did dock it with a fork, which just means I pierced it all around with a fork. What that does, it keeps the puff pastry from rising too much while it's baking. Just keeps everything nice and neat and in its place. Oh my God. What a delicious combination. 
The puff pastry is flaky and perfectly crisp. That cheese layer, so many layers of flavor in there. The cream cheese, of course, is creamy. You get that bite from the Parmesan cheese, that nuttiness, and then the feta, of course, it's just so good. That zucchini is nice and mild and goes perfect on this. I think you guys are gonna really love this one. I would sprinkle some mint in here next time. I think I should have done that, but make sure you sprinkle even a little bit, like a quarter teaspoon of dried mint or finely chop some fresh mint and just throw it in there with the zucchini. It's gonna freshen it up. I think you guys are gonna love this one. You can print out this recipe on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. If you wanna learn how to make tzatziki to serve alongside of this, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.